holographic are these new Pokemon anyway? or something? Yeah, a lot Dude. of them are. Oh, look, this one's holographic. What? Oh, they still got holographic. You got a holographic too. That's good. Okay. Le Lethargy spores? Yeah. This sounds like an STD. Whoa. Dude, you're going to learn the game. Just focus, okay? No, I don't want to You're going to like this. it. You're. Dude, you're gonna I don't want to play, play, play the game, game man. Do you no. think you'll be ready to battle him? I, if you get it together and stop crying. Can you do that for us? Dude, I do not want to play this game. I understand what you're trying to explain to us. It doesn't make any sense. He's not going to stop crying. Yes, play. Come play on, it's fun. Game. No, I'm not going to play this Pokemon game. Out. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's, that's too. That's way well, too aggressive. All right, let's play go do the show. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I, I know he's on steroids now. Yep. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James, bitch. And we have with us here today, Denzel Aquarius Killer Curry. Damn, you get the whole name. All right. He was Beltron ready. himself, up? Young Raven Miyagi. What's, what did it do? His new project, Melt My Eyes, See Your Future. The extended hey, version. The extended version. You extended it. Mm-hmm. How to extend it to make the cut more theatrical, make it, sh yeah. you know, just uh, show Oh, people. I know. You, you, you do know? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, know? oh, yeah. Is that what that means by, like, uh, when they have, like, the special session by the extra 10 songs that you put on there? Same songs, done more theatrical, and we added two new songs that was supposed to make the original project, okay. so. It's a okay. movie. So you got Chrome Hearts on there featuring Zakari, who's right. part of TDE. Yeah, and of course. you got Larger Than Life, which was made by Kenny Beats as well. So Zakari's brother makes my clothes. Really? <laughs> yeah, he's in fire. He's fire. We're going to talk about your sneaker history. The first thing we want to talk about, though, the shoes everybody has on feet. So, Wealthy, please tell us what you're wearing. Got one of the best New Balances this year. I think so. The best. One of the best, I feel like. Uh, okay. These are the Beams Paperboy New Balance 920s. Ooh. I really love these shoes. Beams coming with that shit next year. RP to the Bryants. Um, these are the GG, uh, Kobe, Mama Cetus, mm -hmm. they, they like to call them, uh, Sixes. I've been, uh, shout out to uh, Soul Stage, and I like my boy Stunner for coming through. I, actually, this is one of the shoes I really, really wanted. Um, my favorite number is number two, and they got a two on the side for Gigi. Your favorite Jordan, too. And also favorite Jordan, thank you. Two, and the yeah. second episode of the season. It's all coming together. Woo! Denzel. <laughs> well, I got the New Balance Stray Rats collab. You know, my boy Julian, AKI Iron Coops. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram and everywhere, you know? Yeah. And, you know, just by looking at the colors, man, I know he's a big fan of, like, Jack Nicholson, you know, his um, rendition of the Joker. Joker. Like, mm -hmm. he was the first one to, yes, like, sir. really set it off. So, of course, I'm going to look at the colors, and I'm going to be like, uh, that makes sense for Julian to do it. Straight go These crazy very good. Colors. Shout out to Both Julian. those MT580s are very good. Straight, Straight go crazy with the colors. They go crazy. I got some black and white dunks on. Once again, don't call these the pandas. You'll have to handle them. Okay. We got some zebra stripes. <laughs> Is that your theme for the season? Oh, so that's your theme. It's like I stepped out of the zoo. Mm -hmm. Z, I thought you, it was you. both of y'all that just stepped out of the zoo, my nigga. Like, you know? Denzel, I know those are sneakers that you love, but what's the most regrettable sneaker purchase you've ever made? Shit, rocking Puma. <laughs> yeah, most, <laughs> wow, regrettable. Wow. most regrettable. Most regrettable. You know what Puma, I not a good lie. sneaker brand. Yeah. Shit! Most regrettable. What? It just lie. was uncomfortable? You... Nah, it wasn't even the shoes, bro. It was like a fucking jacket that I was rocking. It looked <laughs> like a damn penguin. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no. And, and I'm Joker, bored for no a penguin. music video and shit when my boy played that boy Zay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It was pretty dope. Let's talk sneaker news. First piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is Hiroshi Fujiwara stepping out in the unreleased Travis Scott blue and white pair Jordan 1 lows. As far as I'm concerned, these can continue to be unreleased. I don't think you need to release every pair, you know, keep them special. And we've seen so many of these, so mm. I'm saying mm. keep them like that. For those who can't see, there's a blue swoosh on the other yeah, side. Yeah, very important thing to mention. Yeah. You like these? You, you Man, big Jordan it, guy at all? It look like they don't even take care of their shoes like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when you got it like that, I guess you don't have to. Wear your shoes though, right? Crease them up a little bit. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe in the crease. To really? Pick, I don't believe in the crease. You would if never you got crease some your fresh seat? ass shoes, like some fresh ass Air Force One. White Air Force right? Ones. Yeah, like that crease fucks it all up. Really? But what if it's not? What if it's not? What if it's? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gonna play devil's that. advocate. What if it's not super crease? It might look like it's just kind of like that butter, nah, nah, butter, buttery crease. leather. You know what I mean? I know I'm not blind. That's a crease. <laughs> he sees a like, crease. You see those ruffles, nigga? Like no chips? But like, you know, sometimes there's like, like that buttery leather chip. that kind of like looks like that. Like, Better and sour cream? 
Mm. That's a top five chip to me. Nah, 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 nah. To use one of my favorite quotes, I probably used it, so be ready for it. Cue it. Get ready. Put a signal in the air. Put you the bat signal in the air. Die a hero or live long enough to see you yourself turn into the villain. Mm. Because ain't nothing wrong with these fucking shoes, bro. Let the lows come out every single color they want to, bro. Them lows ain't doing nothing to you. Don't own any of them. You ain't buying shit. So your damn <laughs> show can't shit. be telling people what the fuck to do with their shoes. That's fucking guy. Is that what they pay us for? I don't know. <laughs> Look at them creases. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I need these in black. Anybody got all creases. black, Travis won, lows. I need a size 11. Gray's right? got them. I'm grown. I need a size 11. I mean, I've gone on the record saying I do like some of the Travis lows. If I were to wear a Travis Scott Air Jordan. I wouldn't mind wearing these. Yeah, I'm about to say you wouldn't rock these. No, I would. Oh, I think I, I think I like. I, I would totally. I would totally wear these. I don't have to. To a Travis Scott event, if you got invited. I don't you know if you. I don't know if you wear the Travis Scott shoe to the Travis Scott event. That's like a little. <laughs> that's too much. That's too, too much. much. But yeah. I would wear. I would wear what that. What if they shoe. gave you this one though? I don't know. Not I mean, I would wear the shoe, but I don't know if. He's not gonna get the shoe. No, there is. I'm gonna show up in arm with the with the McChicken uh, body pillow. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pass on this one though. Like I don't need it. You just. I don't need it. After that preamble, come on. Next Talking bit of sneaker crazy. news. Good friend of the show. Woo! Look one at and only nice. Ooh, those. Joe Fresh nice. Goods. Call of the Powerpuff Girls right now. <laughs> has another that? New Balance collaboration coming out this time on the 993. Three colorways. For what it's worth, I think that this is the best Joe Fresh Goods New Balance collab. I would wear every single one of this these. This is better than nice. all the other ones. Yeah, I think this is I the like best. These. Bar none, right? Is it because of your love for 993 yeah, like or because it's like actually the best? I feel like two conversations going on. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. I'm saying I like these. It reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Blossom Bubbles Buttercup. You What's your those? favorite Powerpuff Girl? Uh, shit, Blossom. I didn't, even, I didn't shit. even know okay. who any of the buttons. Okay. <laughs> Which color do we think is the best of these, though? It's a uh, green. I'm gonna go with the green. Whichever one is sitting in my house right now. The blue is the hit. Just got delivered. Blue is the hit. Here's the thing for me, is like, I... Personally, if you ask me which of these do I like the most, green. I like I like the green one of the course. most. But if you ask me which one I want to own, I, I'm not saying it looks too similar, but I already have the Jown 990s, and I don't want another just green suede New Balance, so I'm like, let me do pink. Pink? Pink yeah. blue? <laughs> breast cancer awareness. Yeah. There was a breast cancer awareness 993, by the way. You should have got him back in the mm. day. Talk to him. Nah, shout out to my brother Joe. Yeah. I'm super biased when it comes to him. I don't give a damn. We love him. He loves <laughs> Joe, us. that dude, I love the stories and the conversations that he's bringing to um, the yep. marketing for Important. his shoes. I'm just proud of my boy. No bullshit. He's the heart. I got them blue ones sitting over there. Mm. Just tight. My brother, Denzel, I want to get into your sneaker history. Growing up in Florida, when did sneakers start mattering to you? At a certain point, you know, since I really couldn't afford yes, anything, sir. so I was having handy-down sneakers by my older brothers. I'm the youngest out of my family. Okay. So. It was just pretty much shoes that we could get our hands on. Mainly what we was rocking back in the day. Like, I used to rock Chucks because Chucks was like right. easy to do. High top, rock. low top? High top. Right. I never liked the low top Chucks. I okay. never liked okay. them. I was like, these look like fucking school shoes. Like, I don't like them. It was either that or I would rock Vans because you could rock them. Lil B made it like easy yeah. for people to rock Vans, whether they were like super clean or super dirty. That's that. And drawing it was a skate shoe. Yeah, I was drawing on my Vans yeah. and everything. Can you, you know draw? Yeah, Can I could draw like a Okay. Brother. I, I, I kind of. got some sketches in the book. It wasn't until I started actually making making money and earning money to where I was like, all right, I need to look more presentable for when I go out right. and stuff like that. So, Definitely you know, Grand I just- Definitely Central with some dirty mm -hmm. bands on. And Can't me, go to Peach Fuzz without something clean on, you know? Yeah, what you know about Peach Fuzz, man? Bit. What you know about Peach Fuzz? Look at him, he worked the door, he worked the door over there. Come on, don't play with him, nah, he work in the back. Nah, in the back. Man, I might have to call Jake on y'all boys, man. <laughs> but look, so- What when was came, that shoe though, when you, when you was like, okay, I gotta get coming in mean, this. At first, we were just getting shoes for free, so I would rock the same Reeboks over and over again. And uh, it was like the Kamikazes at the yeah. time. And then, you know, over time, we started rocking Adidas and stuff like that, okay. and just started rocking like just the, you know, the classic ones. Yes, sir. You know? After that, it was just, okay, we're gonna rock Nikes, and it was giving me different pair of Nike um, Air Force Ones, okay. and different shoes and stuff. And the um, ACGs, when I got the ACGs, they were so comfortable, and I didn't think they, it was like a crazy um, sneaker mm -hmm. until I went out and they were like, oh, you got the new ACGs, like, you got them on, like, <laughs> you, didn't realize you know what it was a flex. And they were high tops, they were yeah. the high tops, and you know, black shoe, but I really love those sneakers a lot. From yeah. the standpoint, because of a comfort reason. Comfort reason okay. and how they look. They look like boots, but they're not boots, you know okay. what I'm saying? Do you remember so, like when 
when the Nike LeBrons hit super hard as a kid in Miami, or were you paying attention to that at all? Because I, I wasn't like paying attention. You were the right to age to where like that was such a huge thing. I mean, around that time, like I wasn't really paying attention to sneakers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I remember when Chucks was on a thing, and then next thing you know, they came out with like PF Flyers when I was like in middle hey, school and shit. PF and then they was rocking PF Flyers, and if you didn't have a P, really PF the PF Flyers, flyers were yeah. hot, but you yeah. run Miami? more faster wow. and jump way higher. PF Flyers. <laughs> 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 it's, it's old, I'm sorry, I'm showing my age. Like, I, remember, I remember. If you was rocking K Swiss, you your ass was getting ranked. Okay. If you was okay. If you was on um, and ranked is not a good thing. Ladies yeah, and yeah. Okay. If you was wearing sketches, nigga, you would best believe you was getting ranked. If your Air Force Ones was yellow at the bottom, you was getting ranked. ranked. And they no had creases. creases in them, yeah. you was right. getting ranked. So you, uh, so you're not into the whole like seeing people in the cooked Air Force Ones. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Rizzy. Oh no, nah, hell no. Nah. You kind of got conditioned to not see anybody in cook Air Force Ones. Denzel, you had a collaboration with Vans last year where they had a like Congrats. it was like a custom design that people could buy online. Mm -hmm. How big was that for you? You said growing oh, up you like Vans. That was huge because like not only was I able to collab with the company that, you know, pretty much provided me with my own shoes, yeah. swag and everything, but we was able to put my drawings Shoot. onto the sneakers. And then when it came down to picking the colors, I wanted to pick African-American colors, mm -hmm. green on the sides, black, and then you could change the bottom, you know, right. and you could customize it however you want. You could write whatever it is you want on the back. Did you like bless everyone around you with the shoes? Was you know a, it. Was that a cool feeling to like be like, hey, I made this like check it out or of course it was a cool feeling because everybody that i fuck with was able to get sneakers right. so, coupon codes for the whole crew mm -hmm. the whole crew some of them came in late like does it still work it's like nah nigga hey. <laughs> it's <laughs> over the shit over bro when it comes to your personal style what do you pull from like inspiration yeah so like your current style well you know current style mainly you know i like to dress comfortable that's the main okay. thing i like to do i like to dress comfortable and for a long time i always fight with my stylist about what i like to wear right. And shit. Like, cause I want to rock all this like anime clothing and shit like that. Okay. Maybe like my nigga, no, no, <laughs> it's like stop. Like I do like a lot of button ups. Like I like how proud of be making their button ups and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, the half half have, things. Oh, I love. Yeah, them. I know you love that. Yeah, they had one where it's like white and blue, and then you have yeah. like the flowers on one side and more flames. You, you, you did the Prada on your tiny desk performance too, right? Yeah, of course. Wasn't there a time when you crashed a Nike party on the Bow Down Tour? What, what were the circumstances around that? Oh, <laughs> damn. The circumstances. I don't even remember that shit, to be honest. It happened, right? I think that did happen a long time ago. In Portland? Damn, did that happen? Pretty sure it happened. Damn, I don't remember that shit. That was long. You asked me to t think about something that happened almost 10 years ago. <laughs> like, I don't remember that shit. Shit, I was young and stupid, so <laughs> it's like... That's that. Denzel, obviously you're wearing the Stray Rats. You mentioned your friendship with uh, Julian. I've seen like you, you know, wearing a bunch of the shoes through the years. I think you had like the original 990 V3s on, which go for a ton of money now too. But like, what's your relationship like with the brand? Like, how are you so close to them? I met Julian, uh, I think a year later after I found out who he was at yeah. first, because I remember going to the Odd Future pop-up shop that a couple of my friends was like working at at the time, seeing him there, and I didn't put two and two together until I started making like music. And I remember he was like, hey, Julian, want to mess with you? And then I met Julian, and I was like, oh, you the same guy at the pop-up shop. Your mm -hmm. hair was blue back in the day. Yeah. He blessed me with a whole bunch of Stray Rats gear, and I just started just rocking it because like I thought it was tight. And on top of that, he from the crib. So I didn't mind doing photos for him. I didn't mind like just rocking the shit just because like the shit was dope as fuck. It felt like home. Yeah, it did feel like home. It was a home team. You support, you know, he support me and I support him. I saw like early on you had done like a concert or, or a show or whatever where he like sponsored the show. It was like a Stray Rats Denzel Curry show. Ooh, yeah. I think that's when we got shut down by the police. Like 2014 or something. Like that oh, was wow. 2014, yeah. A big year. Taking it back to like your fashion choices from shoes to clothes to everything, what is the most money you would spend on a sneaker now? Uh, mentally, I'm like, <sighs> You know, I like to conserve a little bit because mm -hmm. I spend my money on like a few things, my bills, right. my groceries, right. martial arts, right. therapy, right. you know what I'm saying, and so can't get toys. Expensive. I like to just keep it simple, man. Like okay. I'm, I'm just a simple person. If I like this, a sneaker, like a certain type of sneaker and then it got all these different types of colors, I, of course I, w I will buy it. But okay. like majority of the time, I'll just like to keep it simple. It's like a white sneaker, black sneaker, right. and maybe a colorful sneaker to go with my outfits. And Has like, there been a sneaker change. that you spent more than $1,000 on? Nah, never. That's awesome. So if you never spent a lot of money on shoes, then you've never resold any sneakers? Never, never resold any sneakers. I don't even know how to go. I've only been to one dunk exchange ever. And that was because um, Sir Michael Rocks from uh, the Cool, cool Kids, kids. Oh, took yeah. me. 
that was a minute ago. That was back in Miami in 2013. Damn. All right. Hey, Denzel, every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last week. As decided by the YouTube commenters, we make them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week it is me for that sip. Okay. Damn, we on fire, boy. It's a sip. You said a sip. Yeah, I was like, he's sipping on the circuit. Sip. Passing this way, wealthy. Uh, oh my God. What's up with the see-through sneakers from okay. Why do you think doing me like Trying to show off your toes, Brendan? Yeah, pass that over there to that good brother. Oh, okay. Your toes on snake. <laughs> no. What does it say? I can match your sweater, bro. My brother then said we also do a segment on the show called Drip, Flip or Skip. Drip meaning it looks good. Mm -hmm. Flip meaning that you resell. Skip meaning that you don't fuck with it at all. Okay. Our first sneaker and drip flipper skipper is going to be the Nike Air More Up Tempo. Um, I'll start with you. You said drip flipper skipper, um, Denzel? Uh, I'll flip. Okay. I'll flip these. Walty? I think it's really cool that they're paying homage to Wilson Smith with this. He's like one of the people in the sneaker space I feel like doesn't get enough credit for a lot of things. I know our guy Lorenz has some beef with the shoe that he feels like maybe they ripped off his shoe. Mmm. Okay. I don't know, but I do like that they paid homage to Wilson Smith, so it's a drip. Okay. Yeah, I like these a lot. I think Wilson should be celebrated more. It's up. It's up tempo. It's a drip. It's up. <laughs> you nasty, man. I'm skipping these. I ain't got time for that Wilson shit. <laughs> um, you're not even on the home. I love this shoe. Remember, I love this shoe. You don't want to pay homage yeah. to I ain't the guy they never see. Yeah, of course fence. I do, but not always. It's like that, right? I'm just yeah. It's um, like the finale they saw him. I just don't like really? this, yeah, the last this episode. setup. Well, I love this shoe. Cool, I just don't love this color. You didn't watch Home Improvement yet? <laughs> I did, but I never knew what Wilson looked like. Now I gotta go find out Check what it looked like on YouTube. So looks like you. <laughs> Moving forward, shoe number Wait, two. Hold on, hold on. Before you skip it, you remember Georgia the Jungle? Yes, sir. Yeah, Wasn't he wearing these black. and they was in black? black yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. If they were in black, I would. Oh yeah, in black. Be, these are god level shoes. I used to have a Georgia Jungle chess set and the blueprints from the treehouse. Oh my God. Okay. The true story. A long time ago. <laughs> Next. <laughs> 94. We have Yu Gi Oh! Times Adidas. Audi 2000. Mm. Adidas. Y'all are so legendary, but my mm. nigga, what are y'all doing? Skip. Uh, first of all, are you a Yu Gi Oh! fan? I liked Yu Gi Oh! the first season, but I wouldn't rock these, bro. I can't give it a drip because. People probably don't know what this is. Right. Like, I can't reflip these because I don't know how many anime. Right. You could reflip these depending on the circumstance. You gotta yeah. take this somewhere, you know? Go to comic but you take it to I wouldn't, room. like, I would skip it because, like, I wouldn't rock this on a daily. Like, I'm not that diehard of a Yu Gi Oh fan. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a Yu Gi Oh fan at all. I used to work in a card store and you did not want to work the shift when the Yu Gi Oh tournaments were going on. I'll oh, tell you man. that for sure. In the name of Richard Garfield, I rebuked this. this yeah. is a <laughs> Yo, me and my cousin went to a comic book store while a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament was going on. We was like, oh yeah, that's what's up. And it was like, yeah. And it was just like, <laughs> <laughs> lame ass boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you lame as fuck. You, talk, you ain't gonna oh. win a trophy for this nigga. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh, more like yu gi No. Uh, nice. So I guess off. we're all on the same page. Nice. This is like weird because it's like when they're like drawing up the mood board for this silhouette and everything, are they like trying to figure out like what people in 2022 are like ironically wearing like Jinkos, you know, with like this silhouette? You like, think that's the vibe? I, this is, this is that's a, a thousand percent the vibe. The mood board, on the mood board, I'm willing to bet that they had Fat Farm sneakers on the mood board. I feel like they're like, <laughs> trying to, like, yeah, they're trying to sell, they're trying to sell this to like the modern day like raver kids, it looks like, you know? <laughs> like like glow sticks going with this Pop the molly. <laughs> 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 um, this is yeah. a big skip. There was a Nike sneaker that um did like a Gundam wing kind of, of, course, yeah. kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, SB, yeah. That looked hard. Okay, like that. I you fucked with that. I like that one. Okay, moving forward in the shoes. Drum roll, please. I need 10 pairs. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Oh, I've been waiting on this. Oh, We're yeah. like 14 seasons in, and this is yeah. the moment that Trinidad James has been waiting That's all I've been waiting for. Time. My favorite number is number two. Your favorite Jordan, too. The best shoe ever made is coming back out. The what? Best shoe ever made is coming back out. Air Jordan 2, Chicago edition. The high top. Uh -huh. Good leather on there. I need 10 pairs. I'm going to start with myself because I'm selfish. 10 pairs? The 10 pairs, yeah. I'm going to get two early, two more later. Two on the date that they come out, two more in um, 2023, and then I know somebody, I know 
a female gonna gift me one, and then somebody else gonna gift me another. That's ten. That's ten. <laughs> this is a trip. <laughs> You're gonna add the maths up on that. I, I was counting. It was was ten. you mathing with me? Were you the you math? No math. Right? No. Shaving reps. Who else did talk to me? Um, I was there. <laughs> yeah, um, I think that. You know, it's cool to see the Air Jordan 2 get some shine this year as some people in the sneaker world are always just like maligning the shoe is not a good Air Jordan. Um, I think these look good. It's a trip. Definitely would resell these. You know what I'm saying? Like, you said, you don't, know, a, you, said you don't know how to resell sneakers. Well, yeah, I don't, <laughs> but if I did, <laughs> if I they would just fall into these. your lap if Trinidad James is like, hey, I already have 11 pairs. I only want 10. <laughs> yeah, like, Here's I would sell these to Trinidad James if he want them. You want these? Like, you would head crack your friend Trinidad James or would you give him a good deal? <laughs> yeah, no, I'll probably hit him over the head. God <laughs> damn, damn, damn my head man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm not a big fan of Jordan sneakers, so yeah. okay. I'm pretty biased when it comes down to this kind of sneaker. Okay. Yeah. But um, I would definitely resell these because, like, unlike the shoe that we just seen, I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it's not just you, it's me too. Uh, I'm selling these to Trinidad. It's pair number 12. Yeah. Flip. So you have 12 Wait, how, much, now. how much are you head cracking Trinidad for on this? Um, well, Fix the prices. Yeah, yeah, we'll. Okay, not bad. Collusion. Um, so you <laughs> flip, right? Okay, Mr. Curry. Sir. We also do outfits on this segment. Oh. And I don't think there's any better outfits to do in the world than Denzel Curry outfits, outfit number one. Okay. I was so proud of you when I saw this picture. Because I did not fun. think that you would have that shoe on right there. I doubted you and I feel bad. That's a badass shoe. Yeah, but a badass outfit. It's just like, <laughs> well, Talk actually, it's pretty simple. It's a what white show shirt, is this? black pants. It's comfortable. I think this was, no, this was Coachella. I remember this. I can rock with that. It's not It's not as bad as I thought it was. Have I you remember I that? told you, I wasn't really into fashion, so y'all going to be seeing some crazy shit on here. Okay. So, <laughs> no, okay. no, 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 I'm keeping, I'm keeping it gutter. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping Damn. it real. I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it 100. I'm keeping it 100. Thank you. Um, now, you see the way I'm dressed now. Right. So, skill. Okay. I'll skip it. Uh, this is actually a, Flip because I did have those shoes and I resold them. But how I, much? I don't remember. I like the sneaker a lot though. Air Great Max shit. One and you're an Apparently air sign. And not enough mm -hmm. to keep it for you. Hold on. Every photo I see you, you're in the air jumping around. Yeah, because so, I'm a hyper motherfucker. So. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, that's amazing. These are great shoes. The outfit isn't bad. I mean, you have a white shirt on, a pair of black jeans, and amazing sneakers. That's all you need sometimes. Yeah. So. Trip. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to to judge Denzel Curry outfits. Yeah, I am. Yes, you are. I am. Yes, you are. I am. I'm gonna judge my outfits. You got one job. I, I'm totally unbiased with this. It's no, just like no, no, no. you know. The story, anyway. the story. Him telling me that he's at Coachella. The first was this your first time doing Coachella? Yeah, 2017. So look, bro. When it's your first time doing Coachella, bro, all you care about doing is crushing it. This is a drip. I love that shoe. I gotta go get it out of uh, storage because I haven't worn that shoe in forever. Outfit number two, acronym Curry. Ooh, hell no. Nah. This is a oh, skip. I it was what? Like, what? <laughs> skip. Why? What's skip. wrong? What? Uh, What's wrong with this? I don't like this. Don't let your current fashion no. shit on everything no. that got you here. No, no, okay? no, no. Are you a I white team black pant wearing nigga? It's okay. <laughs> All right. Now, but come on. Look at the little highlighter on the thing. It didn't match with nothing. On the, like to. the chain, but it Come doesn't on, not. Match. But this is Southern style, though. Southern style is where your shoe is the truth and your outfit is as plain and chill as possible. Look at how I used to <laughs> dress. I'm your like, nah. she, she or he done ruined you. No, 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 no. <laughs> she did a good thing because I was ruining myself. Like I'm looking at myself right now. I'm like, ooh, nah. I mean, the black pants, yeah, that could stay white shirt. But I wish I would have chose different shoes. Okay, mm. I'll skip this. Okay, well too. I don't know. We literally like we must be seeing two different things because um, I don't know this what I'm to seeing. me looks like a totally fine outfit. You know, this is like what I see Joe LaPuma wearing every other. <laughs> well, day. you gonna stop saying Joe name up here on Beyonce's <laughs> internet? Nah, <laughs> uh, this is a trip. This is a trip. Yeah, I put. Okay, yeah. uh, Brandon, I'm, I'm letting y'all know. I'm probably gonna skip a majority of these bad boys. Okay. like I'm not even gonna see him flaws. Like I like this shoe, but it's not that comfortable, so I'm skipping it. Okay, that's, that's your reason. See, thank you. That's reasonable. That's that. Thank you. Do you remember this moment? Was it just a regular radio interview? Was it your first big single? Was it uh, was it any special moment or just a moment? Uh, it was just a moment. I think this this was around the time when Taboo came out because okay. I, I know where I was at when you know with my hair. Uh, my hair would tell me. Yeah, that's how you, that's how you judge all the photos is how your hair is in them. Or? Well, no, 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 no. That's, that's where I remember. Yeah. Okay, you know what I'm saying. That's the time frame. No, that's what I mean. Like not judge it, but like that's where you like. 
place the time frame, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I use shoes to do that. Like, oh, I know where I was at because of the shoes. This is, what is this? This is. <laughs> you, get, you lost four words. What man. is this? Speechless. Okay, all right. I love hearing the growth, but to grow, you have had to know that you needed to grow. You grew? I will make an excuse for somebody who's a great performer because great performers do not wear great outfits unless you're Michael Jackson and Prince. Uh -huh. What if you're Trinidad James? It's a different, it's a different situation. I'm a whole different animal. I never put myself into the conversation. All right? But you, but you had a good outfit when I seen you perform that one time. Bro, I always have a good outfit. That's yeah. just a part of my, <laughs> that's a part of my branding. Prince, <laughs> Michael Jackson, Jackson Trinidad, Trinidad James. James. Okay. Papa Molly, his hobby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 oh man! Woo. Yeah, I'm but nah, I came a long way, and I'm telling hey, you right now, that's not it, dog. Like, all right, it's nah, a skip. It's a skip. I don't like skip. the acronyms, I don't, I don't and like you it. already were white and black in the last picture. This yeah. is a skip. Yeah, this is. Uh, so the outfit you. I couldn't wait to get to. Outfit number three. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Air Force One, Curry. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, no, show, no, no, show us the evidence. No, 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 because no, no. the crease. Look like they don't even take care of their shoes. Like that. crease them up a little bit. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe in the. Yeah, like that crease fucks it all up. See those ruffles, nigga? Like no chips? Okay. Come on, play that. The crease! The crease! Because, look, yeah, but you don't nigga. see me wearing those every day hey, hey, now. Look, Do you see me look, wearing those? Hey, I knew that was fucked up. Man! I knew that was nigga. fucked up. But this guess nigga. what? Since I fucked them up, you never see me wear them again, nigga. Those white girls on the Lower East Side, they ready for your ass. Hey, yo, but hey, this right here? you never see me wear those again, though. <laughs> You never see me wear those again, Wait, though. You said, they was creased. I threw them away. They're gone. You said they're gone. You said they're gone. You said that they are gone. Wait, hard. You, hard. Nigga. Hard. <laughs> hey, when you in the moment, it doesn't matter what if it's creased or not. They, they no had creases, creases in them. Yeah. Right. Right. They what had the to go. Nikes. They was Come gone. On. They was gone. They were still white, though, but they were I, gone. I feel like Plus, I fucked them shoes up that weekend, so of course they had to go. I feel like you said you've like, never resold sneakers. I didn't but, resell them. What I'm saying, since these are, I didn't resell them. Those are cooked Air Force Ones? Those I are feel, cooked as fuck. I feel like there's people in New York City that you could actually sell these to now. Who I'm gonna sell that to some motherfucking Williamsburg? Like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Like, I mean, Brandy those are gone. Right? Like, nah, no, I didn't Coco rebrand Bo. these. These were cooked. Uh, I know they were cooked because you never see me wear these again. That is amazing. You say so. Yeah, oh. Y'all got another picture? A, a picture? lie detector test? <laughs> take it. Where is that? <laughs> Bring it in. He's, he's about uh, to go all like, no, this is on your awesome. Ass. Like, look at this. Look this at this. This is awesome. You got one crease to one flat. Like, it's, you know, it's over. Like, they're mixed white tea and some dirty ass cake. You know what I'm saying? What show is this, um, Denzel? Governor's Ball 2019. Hey. I can tell by my hair. So you actually could have went to Williamsburg after this. Yeah, and sold these sneakers. Like, <laughs> well, I didn't know. <laughs> Brendan could, Brendan could uh, middleman a deal for I you. I wish I could have saw your week <laughs> after rocking these shoes. So I'd be like, nigga. I know. Once they got creased, it was over. Yeah. Like, yeah. They were done. Of you you know, Chick after I, I, this, you so. can't be out here with a wrinkled Air Force One. You can't have it. Like, yeah, you, you can't. You're the one that's out here. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> that just lets me know not to perform that's at you. Air Force Ones anymore. <laughs> Wait. Like, <laughs> also, I just got We also need to rewind it back because we started this episode off with you roasting Hiroshi Fujiwara for wearing the, the... Yeah, like, that crease fucks it all up. Yep. The crease, and I'm, cr and I'm cooking myself right now. You act like shit. <laughs> like, look at that shit. That crease, that crease, that Did you crease. see me wear those bitches again? No. And he said that... But no you, never saw, you never saw Hiroshi wear those Travises again either, so it could have just been in the situation, right? It's a coincidence. I, was, I said I wasn't Rock Jordan, not a big fan, but I'm wearing a Jordan fucking T right there. You know what I'm saying? But didn't rock that again, did I? Right. So, there you go. I just rocked it because it was white and it matched. That was it. <laughs> and it was comfortable. Yeah, exactly. This is the Denzel. This is Denzel past. I can tell by my hair. So you, We're the, looking at Denzel. This is right the, now. Denzel now. Look, look, look at me. Denzel. 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 Look at this me right now. Denzel. Denzel. Right here. Right here. Yeah, yeah, like, you know? right here. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Denzel right here. now. Nice sweaters. Nice this shoes. This is morning. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, he knows his brands now. Don't play with him. Okay, come on. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm not there. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. Fuck it Bam. Brendan Dunn. Skip. All right. At one point we can settle too because I know Nike and Jordan are the same <laughs> what? brand. What? We're settling? No, 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 no. This is a sneaker, this is a sneaker culture okay, thing, okay, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Is it okay to wear a Jordan t-shirt with Nike shoes even though it's the same company? Does that still count as like mixing brands a little bit? Nah, no, that's, no. Cool. that's cool. That's cool. No, that's straight. Go. That's yeah, straight. Yeah. It's perpetrating, yeah. but it's cool though. It's perpetrating? It's cool. 
Okay. But it's not like Adidas, Adidas and Nike. Nike right, like you're wearing a Adidas like, fit with Nike shoes on. Mm-hmm. You never did that? I did that before. Handle them. Okay. <laughs> I did it. You're saying I it just in case we have the photo. <laughs> well, I did it before. Fuck it. Like, everybody gonna tell me I didn't do it. Like, I did it. Like, did you consciously do it or you just like didn't know at the time? Didn't know at the time. Like, shit, I was just like, all right. You just grabbed a pair of pants and put a pair that, of shoes black, on. Blah, 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 blah. Like, it's just clothes and shoes to me at the point. What is it? No, just skip. 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 Okay. Skip it. Um, This is. Skip it. I'm waiting oh, to hear like the, level, the, level, the levels of mental gymnastics <laughs> is that is about to go Where through. Just, just, now, okay, now, now well, so we've sat here and we've talked to hundreds of people. <laughs> here we go. Right? We're ready for it. And we always try to meet somebody where they're at. Yeah, for sure. I'm meeting you here and I'm putting respect on the sweater because I'm seeing you today. Like, oh shit, we got nice sweaters on today. You like my sweater? Or? Yeah, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> when I look at 2019 Governor's Ball, this to me is comfortable. Denzel Curry fashion. And on top of that, I'm performing, so I'm going to get sweaty. Performing. And the so, summer is hot. All white, white Air Force One, this is a trip. For this. For you. Um, Not for me. Denzel, but, before we get out here for the day, right we want to breeze to the comments section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube for the past week, which is always a fun time. We have one from Anthony Smith saying, I can honestly say this show is one of maybe three shows that I actually sit and watch all the way through in one sitting. Thanks, Anthony. Thanks, Ed. Adonis Jarrell says, every time I watch FSR, I have to go into my closet and bust out a fresh pair and make sure they're not creased. He Chad says, three minutes in and I love the show and wonder where the hell I have been. You're right here with us. Welcome. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. This has been another episode of Full Size Run. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James. Denzel Curry. That's a full size. That's a full size. every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. My island boys! <laughs> Just hanging out here on the couch. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> Guys, this is season 14 and we need you, like we always do, every time we sit here, we're the new outcast, by the way, what? and I ask you to subscribe <laughs> to our show. You watch the episode, but your work is not done yet. We need your support now more than ever. Like all the videos comment on all the videos, make your whole family watch all the videos, only say good things about us. Put our show in your stories, share it, recycle it, do it again, start over, watch the first season, catch up. Family gatherings, just throw it on for, for any reason. Island boys!